Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve integration problem by substitution method. So here, the direct substitution is not possible. So we have to do some alteration. Let's take the numerator part sin x minus x cos x. And we are going to add x and subtract x. Then we are going to divide by the denominator x into x plus sin x. Then we have into dx. Now we are going to group the terms. Let's take sin x plus x together. So we get sin x plus x. Then from these two terms, I am going to take minus x common. After that, we left with cos x. Then this is plus 1. Now we have denominator x into x plus sin x dx. We are going to divide individually by taking this as one term and this as the another term. So when we divide, the first term is going to be sin x plus x by x into x plus sin x dx. The minus integral x cos x plus 1 divided by x into x plus sin x dx. So here we can cancel sin x plus x and here x and x. Now after cancelling this we have first term dx by x second term cos x plus 1 by x plus sin x dx. Now let's take this as i1, this as i2 and i1 is a direct formula. After integration we get log x plus c1. Then in i2 let's take the denominator as t. Let's take t equal to x plus sin x and dt equal to differentiation of x is 1, sin x is cos x. So we have the numerator cos x plus 1 into dx which can be replaced as dt. So integral dt by t which is log t plus constant c2. We are going to replace t. So this will become log mod x plus sin x plus c2. Now combining both the answer we get first term log x then we have minus sign here then the second term is log mod x plus sin x plus we can put a common constant c1 and c2 combined together as c and even it can be further written as log of log a minus log b is log a by b. So x by x plus sin x within mod plus c. 